Hey everyone, welcome to AutoCAD Basics. Today we're going to go over how to draw a polyline. Um, kind of going off of the last video in our line video, the polyline builds off of the line itself. So let's get started and jump into it. Alright, the first thing we're going to do to create a polyline is we're going to go to the upper left hand corner underneath the home tab and in the draw box and we're going to left hand click on the polyline button. So once we have our polyline button clicked, you bring your cursor back down and you see you have the crosshair very similar to how the line function is made. And really the big difference between the line and the polyline is that the polyline will allow you to draw arcs in the polyline while the line will not. The polyline will also stay connected, um, but those are the two big differences between the line and the polyline. I typically will just use the line and then I'll also use a circle button or a circle function if I'm trying to create something, but occasionally a polyline has its place and need. So, the first thing we're going to do is, obviously, it's asking for our starting point. So, we're going to specify that by left-clicking, and we're just going to choose a random starting point. But once we've left-click, we can move this line in any orientation or direction that we want to, right? So, uh, just for this example, we'll move it right here at 11 degrees. Then we'll bring it down again right here, and then we'll bring it up just to form a basic triangle. So, you don't have to close your polyline when you're doing this. Polyline can also be anything that's just random. So polyline right here, right there, right there, right there, right there. We left click to close it. And when we're done with the polyline, obviously we right click and then cancel out of it. <clears throat> but the polyline really allows you to create multiple shapes and with different sizes with continuous connecting lines. All right, so what happens if we want to put an arc in the polyline? Because again, that is one of the biggest distinctions between a line and a polyline is that I can add an arc in. So let's say we want to put an arc into a specific shape and close it out. We're going to go up to our polyline function slash button, bring it on down, and I'm going to create three random lines that get close but do not connect fully. And the fourth piece to this line I want to create an arc instead of a straight line to finish it out. So the first thing I'm going to do when I want to create an arc is that blue box above your cursor that's giving you a 0, 0.0000. It's blue, which means I can type into it. I want to type from my keyboard a letter A, lowercase a, and then I'm going to click enter. Once I've clicked enter, as you can see, it's giving me an arc that I can put into this polyline. So I can really go any which way I want to with this arc. But for this example, we're going to close out that end and create a new shape. So as you can see, I added three straight lines and then added the arc to the polyline. But with the arc, you can also do it where you do not want to close it out. You can create multiple arcs at once. So we're going to left hand click up at the polyline again for this example. And we are going to specify the first point by clicking left. And then as soon as we specify that first point, I don't want a straight line. I want an arc. So I'm going to click A on my keyboard and then enter. So as you can see, I've got an arc that I can kind of just free float and make as big as I want. And then I'm still in the arc mode because I have not changed back. I want another arc right there and another arc right there and then another one and just keep playing around here but you can create multiple arcs that come off of each other and create a shape that doesn't have straight pointed edges so this is the biggest advantage to the polyline function that you're going to see in AutoCAD so now that we've gone over and discussed how to draw a polyline I want to give out a few tips and tricks on how to make this process a little bit faster and easier so the first tip slash trick is the close function and these are all going to be typed command functions so you, obviously we're going to go to our polyline we're going to left click on that um, we're just going to draw a random shape here and then now I'm ready to complete the shape and close it to the last original line so I'm going to type close and boom it closes the shape so you can also do this with arcs let's erase this and with an arc say we want we'll just kind of draw like an ice cream cone shaped shape and right here we're going to finish that pull in our arc 
bring it around, and then we want to close it. Close. So that allows you to finish off a shape if you kind of don't know where you specifically want to be done, but just want to be done without connecting the line to the other beginning or starting point of your line. So we're going to erase that. The next tip slash trick is going to be it's more of a useful tool is when you want to get the angle of your arc on a polyline. So we'll create another <clears throat> cone shaped object here and we're going to go into arc. Now once you hit arc, you're now, as you can see, you have the arc available, but I want to do the angle too. I want to be able to specify the angle. So we're going to type angle. And now it's giving us the angle of the arc, as you can see. So let's say we want, uh, let's go with a 145 degree angle. There we go. And as you can see, it's odd shaped, but that is the angle of the half circle or arc that you're creating. Alright, so that's going to wrap up the video. If you enjoyed the video or learned something, please like, subscribe, you can leave comments. Um, if there's a better way of doing something, please leave comments as well. Um, but past that, hope this video was helpful, and I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of their day.